Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Ultrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the trade area tool from the spatial tools category in Ultrix. This tool allows us to take a spatial object. In this case, we're starting with a point. And from that point, we can determine a radius and Ultrix will draw a circular trade area for us we can have Ultrix generate multiple trade areas as well as generate donut shaped trade areas. It's a very easy tool to use. If you'd like to follow along, we're using the example canvas from the trade area tool. So you can follow the link from the spatial tools category or from the search bar. In example number one, we're given a store point a little southeast of Denver, Colorado. And in the first example, we're going to draw a five mile radius from the store point. So the first thing to consider when configuring the trade area tool is which spatial object we want to start our exercise from. And in this case, there's only one spatial field, so it's an easy choice. We can specify uh, the number of units or map the number of units from another field in our data table and then specify if we want to see the radius drawn in miles or kilometers. So taking a look at the output, we still only have one record, but we have two new fields, the spatial object trade area spatial field, it's a polygon that we can use with the other spatial tools in Ultrix, as well as a field for the radius size. And for example number one, we only have one radius of five. In example number two, we'll use the same spatial point but we'll create three distinct trade areas, one 15 miles, one 10 miles, and one that's five miles from the center store point. When we hit the run button, we'll see that we now have three records. So we've gone from one record to now having three records. And that's because we indicated three different trade areas with different radius, or radii. All right, so taking a look at the browse tool, we can see these trade areas and actually clicking into the results window, Altrix will highlight the current trade area in question. Example number three, we'll take a look at creating a donut shaped trade area. And to create a donut, all we have to do is specify the upper and the lower bound separated by a hyphen or a dash. So here we will create two donuts, one that's between two and five kilometers this time from our center of store point, and a second one that is seven to ten kilometers from the center of store point. So we have two records created this time because of our comma separated list. And if we set the base map to one of our Altrix versions, we can see exactly where on the map these donuts are located. And for the fourth example, we'll take a look at non-overlapping trade areas. So here we're given a data set with 10 records, but they map to six store locations. And in this example, we want to draw a five mile radius from each of those store locations and eliminate the overlap. So we'll have a slightly different shape this time. We have 10 records coming in, 10 records coming out. But in this case, each of the trade areas are drawn with from five miles from the store point associated with each of our 10 customers. And one more example of how the trade area tool can get used. Uh, we'll take a look at a community post from Blake Hutchinson on the Austin, Texas user group page. And this is an exercise practicing with a data set of the moon towers in Austin. So after we create points of each of those moon tower locations, we can use the trade area tool to draw a radius showing the illuminated area. So an interesting use case and a fun practice example using the Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey.
For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.